the Sunoff Human Presence Sensor. Full disclosure, Sunoff did send me this device free of charge, but they haven't told me to say anything in particular about it. Everything I say in this video is 100% my own opinion. If you want to grab one for yourself, there's a link in the description that will give you a small discount. This is a neat little Zigbee device for presence detection. It uses millimeter wave signals, so it should be more accurate than a regular motion sensor. It means that it should be able to detect motion even if you're sitting still on the couch. It also has a light sensor, so if you use it to turn on lights, you could set it to trigger only when it's dark. One thing I really like about its design is this magnet mount. It lets you point the sensor in pretty much any angle you need. It doesn't run on battery, so you will need to run a cable to power it. This is common for MM Wave sensors, but I really don't like visible cables hanging down on my walls, so I'm gonna have to be pretty clever with where I install it. Overall, I think it's a nice looking device. It won't look terrible on the wall or on a shelf. So let's see if we can integrate it easy with Home Assistant and Zigbee 2 MQTT. Pairing the device is really easy. You just hold the button for 10 seconds until the LED start blinking. Then you can start the pairing process in Zigbee 2 MQTT. I always rename my new devices before I do anything with them. I always use room name then the type of device. So if we go into the exposes tab, we can see what options and sensors it is giving us. Occupancy comes up as null for me. I had to unplug the device and plug it back in for it to start working properly. It's also very sensitive. I guess that's how millimeter wave technology works. It can detect your movements even if you're pointing the device away from you. For testing, I had to wrap the device in some foil. I recommend playing around with the timeout and sensitivity. I'm gonna have it installed in a fairly small room so a low sensitivity works for me. If you're using it to turn on and off lights, a higher timeout than 15 is probably a good idea. You can see here that it took 25 seconds from when I left the room until the sensor turned to clear. So how am I actually using this device? At the moment I have the device in the kitchen. I've created an automation that will read me a message about our expected solar panel production that day. I use the TTS service on the NS panel to read the message. This is handy for us so we know when to charge the car or run the washing machine. Creating the automation is pretty easy. When motion is detected, it checks if the time is after 5.30 and before 8 in the morning. I've also created an input boolean helper and the automation checks if this helper is off. This makes sure the automation isn't going to run multiple times. Then, if all this is true, it sends a TTS notification to my NS Panel Pro. The data here is very specific to my needs, but you can pretty much add anything here. It could, for example, read you your calendar events, tell you the weather forecast for today, or maybe it can tell your wife that there's an important football game this evening. Lastly, I turn on that input boolean. I then have another automation that runs after 8 o'clock that turns this helper off again. Overall, I think this is a pretty nifty device. I don't think I want to base all my lights and devices on it because the sensitivity can be a bit too sensitive. Sunoff has been pretty good at bringing out new firmware versions, so let's hope they continue making it better. In terms of automations, I think something like the one I showed in this video is perfect for this device. With millimeter wave sensors, detection could sometimes be a bit slower than with a regular motion sensor. So if you want to turn on and off lights, I think you should use this together with a motion sensor. Thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments if you want me to show any other automation ideas.